Okay, uh, let us continue how to apply equation approach and also contribution uh, margin approach in illustration 4.1. Okay, so below are the data for a month, for a month of KWIH trading for a single product. Okay, sales is 8,000, selling price 2 ringgit, variable cost 1 ringgit, annual fixed cost 72,000. Since all the information are given for a month, so why not we convert it uh, the fixed cost for the month. So divide by 12. So every month the fixed cost is 6,000. Okay. So question number one. At what level of sales does KWH make neither a profit nor a loss? Which means that they ask you the break even the break even point so how much is the break even point in order to get no gain no loss so you can use the equation approach equation okay where the selling price or the, the selling price of x which is the revenue just nice to cover the uh, variable cost and also the fixed cost since the profit is it is zero so in this case uh, the selling price is two ringgit so if you sell two ringgit of x means this is your revenue equal to uh, variable cost one ringgit of x so color if, if you sell one thousand so here uh, the variable cost for one thousand and then plus with the fixed cost in this case the fixed cost is six is 6,000 and profit is zero. So how much the X that you have to sell in order to get no gain or loss? So 2 minus 1 is equal to X equal to 6,000. So basically you have to sell 6,000 unit in order to get no gain, no loss. So you can try to look at the answer here. Sales revenue of X that you don't know or the sales unit that you don't know equal to total variable cost of unit that you don't know plus with fixed cost plus net profit so at the end of the day you will get the sales unit is six thousand so in another way uh, i can present it uh, in the form income statement format let's say uh, this is your sales revenue uh, sales revenue okay minus v uh, variable cost and then you get your contribution margin, right? Then you minus with your fixed cost. Okay, then make sure your net profit is zero. So sales revenue in this case, how much you sell it? Um, you, you don't know how much you have to sell it, but you know the price. So two ringgit, um, two ringgit multiply with x minus with one x equal to one x. So minus with 6,000 your fixed cost. So make sure you get zero net profit. So um, 1x equal to 6,000. X is equal to uh, 6,000 unit. So it means that you have to sell 6,000 unit in order to get no gain or loss. How, how to prove that the answer is right? Okay. Uh, let's say we delete all this. Okay. How to prove that your answer is right? Okay, uh, imagine, imagine that you sell it uh, 6,000 unit, so your, your revenue would be, okay, your revenue would be, revenue, revenue would be 2 ringgit multiplied with 6,000, so 12,000. Uh, minus we fix uh, variable cost variable cost is equal to 1 multiplied with 6,000 so you have uh, 6,000 ringgit here okay then this is your contribution margin 6,000 just nice to cover your fixed cost your fixed cost is 6,000 uh, then you get no gain or no loss net profit is zero okay this is a equation approach equation approach and also con if you use the contribution margin approach, okay, 
if you use contribution margin approach, the formula is fixed cost uh, divided by CM. Okay, this is the break even point in you in unit. So your fixed cost is six thousand divided by CM is two ringgit minus one. Uh, is one ringgit. So at the end of the day, you will get also six thousand you unit. You use equation. The answer is like this. Uh, you you if you use the contribution approach. The formula is like this, so you still get the same uh, the same answer eh? by using different method. This is equation, and this is a contribution approach. Okay, for question number two, if KWIH trading desire three thousand net profit, what should be the unit sale? Means that they they want a profit, no more break even point. So you can use the formula, uh, the formula of equation where the sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal your profit or you can use the contribution margin approach where the formula is uh, sales in unit is equal to FC plus profit divided by CM. Okay, I will uh, show you how, how, uh, how how's the calculation. First of all, uh, you you want to get a profit of three thousand. You want to get a profit of three thousand. So how much you have to sell? How much you have to sell means uh two x. You don't know how much you have to sell minus with one x minus with uh your fixed cost is six thousand. Okay, okay. So now uh x is equal to this uh, transfer to here is nine thousand. So means that you have to sell nine thousand unit, nine thousand unit, in order to get a profit of three thousand. Okay, in a contribution approach, the formula is sales unit required. Sales unit is equal to FC. Your fixed cost is six thousand, plus with profit that you targeted three thousand divided by CM. Your CM is one ringgit. So how much sales unit is equal to? Nine thousand U unit. Okay, so the same answer given in this uh in this manual, the same unit required to achieve targeted profit of three thousand is equal to nine thousand unit, and if you use contribution approach, it's also nine thousand unit. Okay, in the question number three, okay, uh, if fixed cost declined by one thousand, so originally the fixed cost is six thousand, now it changed to it changed to it changed to 5,000, okay. And variable cost reduced by 10%. So originally, the variable cost is 1 ringgit. Now it become 0 0.9, reduction by 10%. So uh, now the variable cost is 90 cent. What is the effect of net profit assuming the sales remain constant? So you try to look the, the, the answer in this manual. Net profit. How much the net profit now? So sales eight thousand unit multiply with two ringgit minus with variable cost eight thousand unit multiply with ninety cent minus with fixed cost now fixed cost is five thousand so net profit now is three thousand eight hundred okay it's because uh, there is a reduction in cost so when there is a reduction in cost the profit will be higher compared to the previous one. You only have a profit of three thousand. Okay, previously you only have a profit of three thousand, but now you have profit of three thousand and eight hundred. Three thousand and eight hundred. Okay. Uh, if you use the contribution approach, you want to get a. Uh, there is a reduction in fixed cost from 6 now become 5 and there is a changes in your contribution margin because there is a change in variable cost okay with the same amount of sales unit and selling price now your net profit become 3800 per month okay okay last question is what is new selling price if KWH target 4,000 profit from 8,000 unit of sales. Okay. They, they want to get, they want to get, 
Okay, they want to get um, profit of four thousand. Profit four thousand, and the sales unit, sales unit is equal to eight thousand. So what's the effect to the selling price? Okay, so now uh, means that if you use the equation, equation means sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost equal to uh, profit so sales mean 8000 8000 unit but we don't know how much the selling price minus with variable cost still the same variable cost is 1 ringgit uh, 1 ringgit multiply with 8000 unit okay minus with fixed cost in this case fixed cost still 6000 original scenario equal to profit 4000 so, how much is your selling price now? Okay. So, 8,000 SP is equal to uh, this one transfer here. Uh, 4 plus 6, 10,000 plus another 8, 18,000. Okay, 18,000. So, the SP is equal to 18,000 divided by 8,000. So, you will get the SP is around... Uh, 2.25 okay so look at the answer here uh, in number 4 8000 SP minus with 8000 variable cost 6000 fixed cost and net profit 4000 so your SP would be 2.25 okay so this is the example of using equation approach and uh, contribution approach when solving the uh, the scenario given for break-even analysis.